what's up so today I'm finally going to do my Q&A so yeah this is my first Q&A on my channel and I asked you guys to ask me some questions in my last giveaway video so you guys left me a 296 comments or 296 questions so let's just get let's just see how many questions I can answer in this video all right all right sweet Susie six asked me if you could be a Disney princess for one day what would you be I always 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 loved uh, Princess Jasmine so I would want to be Princess Jasmine. She's my favorite Disney princess ever. Celeste Garcia asked me, how is life after college? It's kind of tough because I'm still on that job search for a career in my field. So I am freelancing. If you didn't know, I graduated with a degree in mass communication and a minor in advertising. So if you guys are in that area, it's a, it's a tough area to be in because there's a lot of competition out there, so you just have to put yourself out there. But for right, right now, I am freelancing as a graphic designer, so if you guys ever need a business card or an invitation, I will be putting up my... I'm working... Uh, you guys knew I was working on my website, so I'm still working on that, so I just want it to be perfect. That's why it's taking me so long. So anyways, yes, life after college is a little bit difficult, so... Yeah, I said all, all out of words says I believe you said you got a degree in graphic design So my question is what do you plan on doing with it? What do you plan to do with it? I know you say we're opening up, up a website a website about what? Um, I'll still give away by the way. Yay girl. All right, so um, what do I plan to do with my degree I plan to you know, I could do pretty much anything um Anything related to graphics, so you know you you can work at a uh, magazine, which I would love to work for um, Nylon magazine. That's my dream to work for Nylon, but it'll get there hopefully one day. But uh, yeah, I can do business cards. I could do wedding invitations. I could do any sorts of things that has to do with like you know you're arranging um, text and fonts and all that jazz. So. I could do posters, like it's a pretty much endless possibility what you can do with this uh, degree and plus you can start your own business so you can be your own boss so that's always a plus in this field so yeah. And it says that you're opening up a website, a website about what? I wanted to open a website for my own business, start my own business so hopefully it will be open soon. Hopefully by the end of the year, that is my um, goal, by the end of the year or hopefully before that it will be open so yeah. Luis. Luisito X Vega 9609 says favorite makeup brand, favorite lip color, favorite season, favorite drink. All right, girl, you got a lot of questions in this um, um, question. Her so favorite makeup brand. I freaking love a tart. I just love tart so much. Uh, ever since we went to BeautyCon, I freaking love the lipsticks, lip glosses, all that has to do with tart, the blushes, everything, everything, everything. I love tart. I also love Benefit, but I really love tart a lot better. Anyways. Alright, so uh, favorite lip color. I, I'm i all about the dark berry lip colors. I really, really love dark berry lip colors. That's what I'm wearing right now. And the lighting is changing. So yeah, I love dark berry lip colors. Um, favorite season. I love fall and a little bit of spring. I, I love all the seasons a little bit because sometimes, I mean, you get all the seasons here in like one day, basically. Um, so yeah, uh, Texas is uh, kind of weird like that. So uh, yeah, so you get all your seasons in one day. It, it can happen. So it could be snowing one day. It could be like sunny the next. Um, it could be hot. So I, I love all types of weather um, because, you know, you get a variation of it and I'm not very... Really, I don't really have a favorite season now that I think about it. I don't have a favorite season because I love everything. So, yeah. Um, favorite drink. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite drink. I like sweet tea. Um, I went to California, if you guys knew I went to California, and you guys don't have sweet tea over there. What the heck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> yeah, I love sweet tea, and yeah, sweet tea is my life, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, sweet tea. Says uh, which mom Davis says congrats on 5k. How long have you been doing on YouTube? And what is your favorite thing about your YouTube channel? I have been on YouTube since 2009. I think believe I started my channel um, And what do I like about my channel? I love that I could talk to you guys. I love that I I love that um, Actually, I do love that. I actually came out of my shell doing this um, YouTube stuff because I used to be super super shy like it was crazy how shy I was like I'm an only child so I don't have anybody to talk to um, so besides my parents but that's not fun seriously um, so I'm an only child so I was really really shy um, 
And doing YouTube, I don't even know how I started, like how I got the courage to do this thing, uh, but I did and I'm glad I did. Um, so um, yeah, the thing I love most about my YouTube is I get to talk to like so many people and I get to be myself, I guess, because um, sometimes I go into work and they, some people know I do YouTube videos and they're like, why aren't you like this at work? And I'm like, it's much easier just talking to a camera and um, I don't know, this is much easier to put yourself out there. Uh, and be yourself when you're all, all alone in your room, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I love that I just got over my shyness, I guess, a little bit. I'm still shy, but not as much as I used to be. And, um, yeah, that's what I love about my YouTube channel. And also, I get to talk to a lot of people and make new friends. And that's freaking awesome. Like, friends all over the world, which that's awesome, awesome, awesome. And, um, yeah, I freaking love all my subscribers, so... Yeah, you guys made me where I like you guys got me to where I am today and I appreciate that like seriously I seriously really 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 appreciate it and I just love you guys Antonia Lawrence says how old were you when you started wearing makeup I believe I was in high school because in middle school we weren't allowed to wear makeup so I started to wear eyeliner in um, high school I believe freshman year I started wearing just bottom liner um, and I believe sophomore year I branched out and did the top liner and oh, well bottom liner and mascara and then I branched out to top liner and then um, I was for some reason I remember this so clearly sophomore year and I think senior year I was all about that silver and black shadow oh my gosh I look back on some of my um, photos and I'm like what was I thinking and I had super thin eyebrows that was a no bueno so yeah, I started wearing makeup, I believe, uh, freshman year of high school. Bonnie1014 says, what color is your hair? So, to get this hair color, I actually got like the blondest dye ever because my hair is so dark. So, I got a really blonde dye and I dyed it and this is just the color that came out of it. So, I don't know what color my hair is. I think it's like a light brown, dark brown mixture because there's like dark bits in here. So I am going to, like you can see my roots now, <laughs> I'm going to dye it again. I just don't know if I'm going to dye it darker or I really want to go red. So um, yeah, I don't know. But I don't know what color my hair is. So I got the blondest dye in the Revlon dye section, like the Revlon dye. Uh, I just got the blondest one, almost the blondest one, and that's what my hair turned out to be. Estrella, Estrella Grandano, Grandano, sorry girl if I butchered your name, why did you start, why did you decide to start YouTube and what camera do you use to film? I started, I decided to start YouTube because I don't know, I thought it was fun and for some reason I don't remember why I started to do this, like how I got the courage to start to do this because this is like a, like a scary way to put yourself out there, like just, my, just saying, so um, you gotta really have the courage to put yourself out there. Um, so I don't know how I got that courage, but I did, and I believe my first video was a um, haul video, I believe. I don't think it's on my channel anymore. I think I deleted it for some reason, or it's on private. I don't remember. I don't even know where that video is. I'll probably find it on my, like, I don't know, my drive or something. So, um, the next question was, uh, what camera do you use to film? I use a Canon T3i. So with the kit lens, I, I did buy the 50mm lens, but that's like you have to um, stand really far away uh, from the uh, camera. So it, it takes really, really good video. I've tried it before because you have like the very blurry background, but you have to sit really, really far away. So I have to get a micro my microphone to use that lens. But for right now, I'm using just using the kit lens and it's a Canon T3i. Cindy TV says, hey Gabby, so I want to know what got you interested in graphic design and are you still as passionate about it today? I've been following you since the beginning uh, beginning, and I do graphic design myself so I'm curious to know since I haven't heard you talk about it uh, talk much about it anymore so I am still passionate about graphic design um, you know you get your days when you're like not as um, I don't know inspired you get you kind of lose your inspiration well at least I do I have to like you know really go through like all these websites for inspiration and sometimes you just use your, lose your inspiration so I have days like that and um, but yeah, I'm still passionate about graphic design. I love the whole aspect of it. So you can go so many directions in this uh, career. So yeah, I'm still passionate about it. Um, 
and that's great that you're doing graphic design um, I know it can be tough but yeah so if you, if you have ever have any questions I, I know I think I've seen a message from you or something I think I messaged you back but um, yeah if you ever have any questions about graphic design um, shoot them at me girl shoot them at me I'll help you out as any way possible as I can um, but yeah so um, it says, uh, what got what got me interested in graphic design? Well, first I wanted to be an architecture major. Then I went to like the architecture field for like a tour or something, and then I heard so many horrible stories about students that were in um, our, uh, architecture classes. So I had already had um, a um, associate's degree in art, so I decided to go to the art direction in this field. So um, I went to graphic design and I love computers and I loved uh, art so I thought you know what this is a perfect mixture of both worlds and I'll just stick to graphic design and I loved it. Um, yeah so just keep on doing what you're doing girl, don't lose that inspiration. If you ever do hit me up and we'll, I don't know, brainstorm about stuff, I don't know. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about graphic design. Um, if you ever guys want to see like a whole video of me talking about graphic design, if you guys are interested in that, um, I don't know if some of you guys are studying that, um, if any of you guys are studying that, I'll, you know, if you hit me up, I'll do a video or I can just message you back, um, so that, I don't know, I, I, just, I don't know, I want to help you guys, so yeah, anyways, yeah. Farah Hearts You says, what are some of your favorite TV shows growing up? Mine were the Rugrats, Hey Arnold, and Powerpuff Girls. Girls, girl, that's some awesome shows. I love the Powerpuff Girls. Now, I didn't have cable as a kid, and I don't have cable now, so I was deprived of my childhood. But, um, yeah, I loved Arthur. I loved um, Pokemon. Like, Pokemon was the shiz. Seriously, I have still have my Pokemon cards. Like, we used to do battles in um, the cafeteria. Yeah, that's how hardcore we were. So, yeah, I have my holographic cards and all that jazz. So, Pokemon was uh, one of my favorite shows. And Arthur, I used to run home to watch those TV shows. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, when I grew up a little bit more. So, Sabrina the Teenage Witch was... Um, Sabrina and Pokemon, I think they were still on. And Yu-Gi-Oh! I watched that too. I got into that too. I don't know why. But yeah, I got into those two shows. And Sabrina the Teenage Witch, um, Full House, and um, there's like so many other shows I could mention. Like seriously, I wish they would... I think they're going to bring them back. Like Full House is going to come back on Netflix, I think. So I can't wait for that. So yeah, so those are some of my favorite shows as from my childhood. Miss 47 Ashley says, congrats on 5k girl. Thanks girl. Um, my question is, do you watch The Walking Dead? And if so, who's your favorite character? Hashtag Team Daryl. Um, I lost, like, I haven't watched the last season. I know I'm bad. I haven't watched, the only thing I watched two episodes of The Walking Dead of last season. Um, but yeah, I love, um, Michonne. Um, that, she's my favorite character, um, since they brought her in. And Daryl. Daryl was my favorite character since the beginning. Daryl and Michonne are my favorite characters. Okay, Nancy... G. Guevara. Nancy Guevara says, sorry if I butchered your name, girl. <laughs> this might be too personal, but what do you do for a living other than go to school? Well, I don't go to school anymore. I did graduate, um, as I said, in May. Uh, what do I do for a living? I am a part-time uh, retail associate. I'm a front-end supervisor, so a lot of you guys think that I do YouTube as my full-time job, and I do not. Uh, it does not pay the bills, seriously. Um, it doesn't even pay one bill, like seriously. I don't make that much off of YouTube, if, as you guys think I may have, I may make. So I don't make that much off of YouTube. That would be nice if I could live off of YouTube, but I don't. So I have a part-time job that I've been there for seven years. So yeah, I that's what I do for a living. I'm a part-time sales associate until I find a job in my field, which I'm looking for, seriously. Thoughthead underscore 10 asked me, advice for making a YouTube channel. Uh, they have a, I have like four questions though. <laughs> advice for making a YouTube channel. So my first advice would be just be yourself, be genuine, um, don't be fake. People can see right through that. And just be yourself, um, don't be afraid to put yourself out there and you will get haters so be ready to deal with that. Um, and yeah, just have like make constant videos which I don't do I know that so that's probably why I'm suffering but yeah make constant content uh, and be just be yourself guys just be yourself uh, people will love you the way you are and if they love you they will subscribe to you and will stay with you so yeah just be yourself and that's 
advice, main advice I have for making YouTube videos. And how do you manage having a job and making videos and going to school? Well, when I went to school, I uh, well, I went when I went to college. I only had classes, I believe, um, in the mornings, and then um, some semesters I would have classes on uh, like Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I would have like the other days off. And I only work the weekends, so um, that's the thing that you should find yourself if you're planning on making YouTube videos and going to school to manage everything. Um, Find a job that's really flexible, like with your hours and stuff, um, because you need that flexibility where you're going to school and if you plan, plan on starting this YouTube thing. So I worked the weekends, only Saturdays and Sundays. Um, that worked great for me. I made a couple of ca like some cash on the weekends, so had some spending money, and then I went to school Monday through Friday sometimes. Sometimes I didn't have classes, but it really depended on my schedule and how the classes were set up and all that jazz. So, I, sometimes I had days off, and those days off I would make a bunch of YouTube videos if I had the time. Um, if I didn't, that was cool. I mean, I wasn't really stressing out about this YouTube thing. It was just a hobby, so yeah, I just did, what the, I just did the best I could with my time. Um, yeah, that's how I managed school, YouTube, and work. Okay, so the next question is, any advice for working at Ross or any retail store? Um, I just say, if you're a hard worker, they will appreciate you, um, seriously. I've seen people walk in and walk out, so it is hard work. Um, depends on where you are in the retail world. I've, it's always going to be hard work. There's always going to be those customers that always come up to you complaining and they're going to be rude to you sometimes. I've been cussed out a bunch of times and been called names um, so and been called dumb and all that stuff. When you know you have the, like, you know you're right but you know in the end the customer's always right which I don't think so. So yeah, anyways, if you plan on working in the retail world, just be ready for some complaints, some rude customers. Um, don't take it to like, don't take it personal. Whatever they say to you, like seriously, just brush it off. That's what I do now. I just brush it off. I'm like, whatever. Just keep a smile on your face, and that will get it. That'll make them more angry if you have a smile on your face. So, yeah, I just put a smile on my face, brush it off, and be like, whatever. I don't need this in my life. So. Yeah, if you just plan on seeing a lot of um, complaints, a lot of rude customers, and um, yeah, you just see pretty much crazy stuff when you work in the retail world. Customers are crazy and they would destroy your, the store however they can, so yeah, just you're going to have to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I have for advice for retail. Um, so working in retail, <laughs> yeah. The last question is, are you planning to get a dog or do you have one now? No, I don't have any pets right now. I want to get a dog. I want to get a Husky or a um, Golden Retriever or a Pomeranian or like a mix, of, like a dog mix. Like I want a little cute little puppy. Seriously, I want a cute little puppy, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I want to go to the shelters and see the puppies. But when that day comes, I'll be sure to introduce you guys to my new family member, the doggy. Yeah, so I'll be sure to do that whenever I get one. But for right now, I don't have any pets. Yeah. The Zerona, Zeronara Leon says, How is life after graduation and how did the intern position go? Whoa, so you've been here for a while. Uh, so um, life after graduation was uh, pretty good. Um, I did get an internship like a couple of months after I graduated, so that was really good. And that internship turned out pretty good. Like I learned a lot of stuff. It was in um, downtown, so that was really awesome. I got to be like downtown girl. Like I got to be this, do the city life. I walked around everywhere, took the train. Like it was awesome. I really, really loved downtown. So hopefully I'll find a job downtown. And um, yeah, I really love downtown. That was really awesome. Like seriously, I remember everything. Like that was awesome. <laughs> seriously, working in downtown. Let's see, one more question. One more question. I'm just gonna scroll down the video and just stop at whatever. Boom. It says stupidest thing you've ever done to impress a guy. Oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> have I ever done anything stupid? I probably have. Um, I don't remember. Like, I, but as I said, I was super shy. So. I don't know, probably something in high school, like, um, I think I'm, I like hung out with like some of like the soccer guys and to make this one guy jealous, but he never came up to me, so I was dumb, but I got to hang out with some soccer guys, because soccer guys are super hot, like seriously, soccer guys, 
good, you're hot. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't remember the stupidest thing I've done for a guy. I probably just blocked it out of my head now, my memory. So yeah, that's pretty much um, all the questions I'll be answering in this video. I will be doing another q and I'm going to answer some more of your questions. So if you have any more questions you want me to answer, leave it down below and maybe I'll do this like a, a weekly thing or like a monthly thing to ask me some questions, any random questions, anything, anything anything seriously so yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys for asking me questions and i really do appreciate it and i love you guys for getting me to 5k we're almost at to 6k i believe we're like 200 um almost 200 uh, subscribers to get there so yeah that's exciting so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you have any more questions to ask me for my future q a um and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.